Hello, and welcome to yet another incredible story. Let's take a look at a fantastic teamwork from the film Peter Rabbit. Fasten your seatbelt and prepare for an unforgettable adventure. There are spoilers ahead, so proceed with caution. The film begins with Peter Rabbit running through the fields, where he meets all of his woodland friends, including Mr. Jeremy Fisher, Piggling Bland, and Mrs. Tiggy Winkle, while avoiding the hungry Mr. Todd. As they prepare to enter Mr. McGregor's garden, Peter joins his family, cousin Benjamin Bunny, and Peter's triplet sisters Flopsy, Mopsy, and Cottontail, before the man notices the rabbits and tries to handle them violently. They enter the garden and steal some of McGregor's vegetables. McGregor's next-door neighbor Bee, an animal lover and painter, saves them. She brings the rabbits into her house and gives them blackberry water. Bee's paintings aren't particularly good, according to Flopsy, but the drawings she made of the rabbits are quite good. The drawings, however, evoke painful memories as they reveal that Peter and his sisters lived with their parents until their father went into McGregor's yard and was murdered before being turned into a pie. Because their mother is ill, B looks after the rabbits. Peter returns to McGregor's yard because he has forgotten his father's jacket there. He gets it and begins to flee, but McGregor traps him and prepares to kill him until nature takes care of McGregor first, causing him to die of a heart attack. After his body is taken away in an ambulance, Peter is overjoyed and invites all of the animals to McGregor's house where they can eat and do whatever they want now that it is vacant. Thomas, McGregor's great-nephew, works at a toy store in London, where he makes sure everything is in working order and is hoping for a promotion. He is summoned to speak with the store's general manager, who informs him that Mr. McGregor has passed away and that his home will be passed down to Thomas, who had no idea he had a great-uncle. Thomas loses it after learning that his desired promotion has been given to another employee, and he begins to wreck the store in a fit of rage before being fired. He later learns that the house can be refurbished and sold, so he intends to sell it and open his own toy store to compete with the one where he previously worked. Before Thomas arrives, the animals throw a party in the McGregor house and make a huge mess. Everyone flees and hides as Thomas enters the room and notices the shambles. He sits down on the couch and discovers Piggling, causing both of them to scream and the animals to flee the premises. Thomas begins cleaning the house in the morning, to Peter's dismay. He then begins to close off any openings into the garden. He approaches Thomas to introduce herself and requests that he leave the gate open for the rabbits to freely roam. She also gives him a pair of bird-watching binoculars as a present. Until she walks away and seals the gate, Thomas agrees with her on the gate. As they search for a way into the garden, Peter recruits Benjamin to join him. Thomas notices them and makes an attempt to apprehend them. He eventually snatches Benjamin and stuffs him in a bag. As Thomas prepares to dispose of Benjamin, Peter and his sisters sneak aboard his truck to save him. They are successful, and the binoculars are placed in the bag. Thomas drops them in the river by accident, forcing him to dive in and retrieve them. Thomas travels into town in search of pest control supplies. Before running into B, he grabs what he needs and almost runs into a snobbish couple on his way out of the hardware store. While the rabbits attempt to ride back on the truck, he gives her a ride home, only to be thrown out when it speeds up. They are able to reboard, and Peter is envious that B seems to be growing fond of Thomas. Thomas and B spend more time together, which irritates Peter, who has always regarded B as a mother figure. While Thomas is present in B's painting room, Peter enters leading her to believe that Peter and Thomas are getting along. When she leaves, the two begin to fight until Peter inadvertently paints over one of Bee's paintings with a brush. She becomes enraged and orders Peter to remain outside. The animals begin to retaliate against Thomas by placing rabbit traps in his bed and planting rakes and hose for him to step on, injuring him. Thomas, in turn, sets up traps throughout the yard, including an electric fence that he smears with peanut butter in case they are enticed. Mrs. Tiggy Winkle goes for the peanut butter, which electrocutes her and causes her to shoot quills at the other animals. In retaliation, Peter and his sisters rewire the electricity to shock Thomas until he passes out in the garden. When Thomas wakes up, he places dynamite in the rabbit's burrow in order to free them. Later, in the garden, the rabbits attack Thomas by throwing vegetables at him until Flopsy stabs him in the throat with a blackberry. Fortunately, he had an epipen with him. Thomas then takes a handful of dynamite sticks and lights them before throwing them at the rabbits. B is deafening when she steps out a few moments later because she thinks she hears something. After Thomas denies it to B, the detonator falls out of his pocket, and Peter picks it up to prove he was using explosives. Unfortunately, they forgot about the dynamite in the burrow which resulted in the tree on top of it being destroyed. After putting his house on the market, Thomas returns to London and manages to reclaim his job. Peter, on the other hand, feels terrible about what happened because B is upset. Peter and Benjamin head into town with a street mouse they meet and eventually find Thomas at the toy store when he learns she plans to leave. When he sees the rabbits, he chases them into a closet for employees. Peter then begins speaking with Thomas, 
apologizing for what he did and requesting his assistance in persuading B to stay. Thomas and Peter reach an agreement, and Thomas leaves the store for good. Thomas stops B just before she gets into a cab after a long journey back to the countryside. Thomas apologizes for his actions and claims that Peter assisted him in his return. B is skeptical until Peter removes the detonator from his jacket and hands it to her. Thomas is unable to return home because the house has been purchased by a couple, the same snobby couple he met in town at the hardware store. Peter and his pals do what they do best and set up their traps to make the couple flee. Finally, Thomas and B join forces and return to London with the rabbits, where B works as an illustrator for children's books, including a few stories about Peter and his friends. To help us grow, subscribe for more videos like this, turn on notifications, and leave a like. Thank you for taking the time to watch.